Hello, I'm LR Reactor, and thank you for joining me here for React and Reactions. Uh, as you know, this week is uh, Star Wars week. I am super excited, which is why I'm pinning this video out a little earlier, because after Thursday, it's going to be Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, blowing up the internet, YouTube, and any other device uh, platform you may be watching, Facebook or Twitter. And I got a feeling that this guy right here, this guy, I don't know if you see it better there, Yoda. He is going to show up as a force ghost, just like he is in this pop figure, a force ghost in this movie. I think that's one of the big Easter eggs and surprises that uh, Lucasfilms has for us in Disney. But I could be wrong. Tell me what you think in the comments section, who you think might pop up as a force ghost. Um, but I'm very excited to see the movie. I'll be seeing it Thursday, like a lot of you, uh, at 7 o'clock. And then I'll also be going back on Friday to watch it once again. And then another day on Saturday, watching it once again. So I'm sure I'm going to see all of you there as well, or all of you will be there in spirit, like a force gross with me, if not there live, watching in the movie theater. So I'm very excited about that, and it's definitely Star Wars week. So I wanted to go create this video real quick about um, a topic about five movies that I think deserve a remake in the year 2020. Now, of course, it's can't do anything in 2018, 2019 too soon, but the year 2020, I think uh, these movies deserve a remake. And we're going to, I want to get your opinion. Again, you can respond to me on Twitter, Facebook, and definitely put your comments in the comment section below because I'm going to need your help and get your opinion of what you think. Now, some of these are older movies, so if you haven't, these movies don't sound familiar, go YouTube them, look them up, you'll see what I'm talking about, and tell me your opinion about who you think should be in the starting role, and what do you think about a remake uh, with today's technology and uh, movie making ability? So, let's go to the first one. The first movie that I think they should remake is Mortal Kombat. Now, this movie came out in 1995, and it was probably the remains still to be the best video game movie ever made. The first one, not the second one. So my second one has some problems, but the first one. I can't tell you how excited I was in that movie theater. I've never, I've never been to a movie. It's this had the effect of Star Wars, as far as you know, when Star Wars movie comes out, you're, you know, galaxy far, far away, a long time ago. Dun, 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 dun. Star Wars comes up, you just feel your your body shaking, you feel that adrenaline, that excitement. That's how I felt with Mortal Kombat. You're sitting in a dark theater. I'm sitting there with a lot of my friends. We played the video games when it first came out. And all of a sudden, the screen goes dark. And you hear, Mortal Kombat! People went crazy. That was such an amazing opening. Uh, New Line Cinema, I think, was the one who produced that movie. It was fantastic. Just got you so excited to see these people, these characters that you play in a video game that's still popular today come on the live screen. And now, with today's technology and CG, they can redo Mortal Kombat. Don't make an extended one. Just do the original Mortal Kombat characters, the Tournament of Champions. They could do it. Fant it would be just amazing. I know you can see it. I know you can see it in your mind just like me. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, and if you've seen that movie, and if you haven't seen that movie in 1995, go see it. And remember, this was shot in 1995. So what the fight scenes were amazing. So let's imagine that you got the director of the movie, The Raid, in The Raid 2, if you saw that. And you pit that director running a Mortal Kombat movie. The action, the fight scenes will be amazing. I mean, to this day, Scorpion and Johnny Cage fight scene was is outstanding. Followed up by Reptile and Luke Cage in that movie. And that's what limited money. I don't know how much it cost to even make that movie, but... It was just the excitement of it. And I think Mortal Kombat deserves a remake. Deserves a remake with a new director, uh, the right director, of course. And I'm, I'm not sure. Now, I usually, I was going to pick down who should play who. So, a lot of this is a lot of actors' faces are covered up. A lot of CG characters. I mean, can you imagine them doing Goro? How Goro will look with today's technology? How they will look? My goodness, that would be amazing. Look pretty much like Thanos. Just with four arms. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, you can get uh, numerous actors, probably B actors. People haven't been heard. Maybe get their first star or one star or two stars in there, possibly. 
I mean, uh, I know people talk about Ronda Rousey. They like her. You want to pit her in a movie? Let her be sewing your blade. She could pull off the stunts. Not a lot of dialogue. She probably can succeed in that movie. But you could pit some people in there. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson probably headlined it. Maybe a Jax. You could throw him in there. But, you know, you do need some martial artists in there as well. But uh, Mortal Kombat, number one, that should be remade in 2020. Number two, a movie shot. Uh, this movie was in 1984, and it was called The Last Starfighter. Now, some of you who are older like me remember The Last Starfighter. And if you haven't seen it, maybe a lot of you probably haven't seen it, but I definitely recommend you see it. This is back in the age when we have video arcades. There was no PlayStation 3, no Xbox, uh, and we had Atari. But uh, <laughs> well, but none of those games, You, as a kid, you want to play video games with your friends? You went to the arcade, you rolled out a bucket of quarters, and you played for two or three hours. You'll be there playing Joust, Dig Dug, whatever. And The Last Starfighter was basically a movie in which a video game was placed in a small town where this with guy with a couple of people play and it's one and basically the premise of it these video games were put into earth on different cities to help find a starfighter to help them in their war so by playing the video game which they simulated it would improve the people's skill and show who had fighter you know pilot skills to fight their ships to pilot their ships and um when the one person in the movie broke the level and defeated it the aliens came down and said, "You're, you're. We need you to help us with our war. You've proven that you can. You're the best pilot that we ever seen and stuff by playing this game, the simulation of the game based on our, you know, cockpit, cockpit of the uh, cockpit of the uh, our fighter craft. And um, they brought him out to space, and he, you know, was out there and taking on the alien forces. And it was great. That's just a little synopsis of the movie. Go see it. But." Can you imagine them doing that? Especially with all the excitement of Star Wars coming back and space battles. The Last Starfighter would be a fantastic movie to redo. Great for kids, for adults. A lot of nostalgia back. And I would love to see The Last Starfighter come back. Um, you know, um, you can have a lot of people... Uh, Tom Cruise is a little too old to do it, but um, you could have Bradley Cooper, who I, was my recommendation. Bradley Cooper playing the, playing the main lead. I think he would be fantastic. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of Brad, Bradley Cooper in the last two years in the movie. Well, he's done something, but I think he would be fantastic for that role. Tell me what you think in the comments section. If you're familiar with Last Starfighter, who would you like to see play the lead? I think Bradley Cooper would be fantastic. Okay, third movie. Third movie that they should remake. This movie was made in 1998. And it was a little movie that some would say started off the MCU or Marvel, but not necessarily wasn't part of the MCU. But that would be Blade. A Blade was a fantastic movie and in a lot of ways a cult classic. I love the whole theme of Blade. The EDM electronic music mixed in with it. The soundtrack back when they did big soundtracks. Um, score was fantastic. Uh, I would love to see Blade done over again. Now, what's, not because it was a bad movie. Blade was great. It was fantastic. But I think they could do even a better job with today's technology and better storytelling. So I would love to see Blade done over again. And how about this, guys? How about Michael B. Jordan playing Blade? What do you think about that? Now, if I can't play, I can play Blade, too. I can do it. A little stuff like that. But if I can't do it, Michael B. Jordan what do you think about that, people? What do you think about Michael B. Jordan playing Blade? And if you have someone else you think that could play Blade, Chadwick Bowman, Bowman, I guess he could be as well. He could do it. But I want to see Michael B. Jordan playing Blade. I think he would be fantastic in that role. He fits the, the mold of it. I think it's a great actor. And I would love to see Blade done over again in 2020. Make it part of the MCU as well. But see, that's the problem. You have Michael B. Jordan if it's part of MCU, Michael B. Jordan can't play because he's Killmonger, so to speak. But there's other actors that you can have play Blade, uh, you know, in the MCU. But, uh, you know, tell me what you think. I think Blade needs to be done over again uh, with today's technology and CGI and everything for 2020. Okay. Four. Number four. The fourth movie that I think we need to see uh, a remake of. Actually, I'm sorry, that's the fourth. Yeah, this is the fourth movie. And actually, to tell you the truth, 
I actually have six movies down, not five, six, my top six. Because I threw one in last night that I was thinking about. So it's really top five plus one, plus one. But uh, the fourth one is this movie was produced and made in 1986. One of my top five movies of all time, The Highlander. If you haven't seen The Highlander, go uh, Netflix it. Maybe it's on Netflix. Go rent the DVD or go buy the DVD because you'll love it. The Highlander. Fantastic movie. Great story. And I would love to see The Highlander done over again with today's technology again, with movie uh, quality and CGI. They could do a fantastic – wouldn't need a lot of CGI in it. Just some of the – you know, I guess the green screens you could do some of the stuff. But all the battles are done with swords, so realistic practical effects. And it would be fantastic to see The Highlander done over again. Now, let me tell you this. Give me your idea about Highlander, but Brian Gosling as Connor McCloud. Brian Gosling, I think that's a great casting for him. I mean, a lot of people could play the role, but I think it would be fantastic for him. Saw Blade Runner 2049, he did a great job. He would be fantastic as Connor McCloud. And then who would play the Kurgan, the evil guy in the movie? If you haven't seen it, and you have seen it, you know who the Kurgan is. How about Ben Diesel? Ben Diesel as a Kurgan. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me you didn't jump out of your seat. Just now when I said that, Ben Diesel as the Kurgan. Think about it. Brian Gosling, Ben Diesel as the Kurgan, the Kurgan Highlander. That movie needs to be redone for 2020. And I think it will be fantastic. I know a lot of you out there have been dying for or probably a remake of the Highlander. Those who watched it, if you haven't watched it, go see it. It's fantastic. And Ramirez, heck, you can put Sam Worthington as Ramirez. He could play Ramirez or you can even get uh, – who else could you get? Pierce Bronson, maybe an older guy, if you want to play that. I think Sam Worthington would be a good Ramirez. He don't have to be too much older than the, the character. That was uh, because Sean Connery played him in the movie, and he was a lot older, but he uh, played a great role. But Highlander 2020, let's get it going. Okay, number five. This movie was made in 1987. Uh, wasn't necessarily a good movie, but as a kid. Back then, I was excited to see it because I had these action figures. I watched a cartoon, and I just wanted to see anything I could with this these characters on live action screen. wasn't a good movie, though. wasn't good storytelling, and that's why we need to see it again. And that is He-Man, Masters of the Universe. It is time. And I know it's been talked about. This is in production. This is being talked about. This is going to be made. Haven't heard anything. Haven't seen anything. But we need that for 2020. A He-Man movie? I mean, think of Star Wars and Lord of the Rings mixed together. That's your He-Man movie right there, Masters of the Universe. And we have actors. Now, sit still. Don't let your head explode when I list my actors for this. And, again, I want to get your uh, your opinion as well. Chris Hemsworth as He-Man. I think he would be fantastic as He-Man. He could pull it off. He has the look. Chris Hemsworth as He-Man. And Skeletor, The Rock, Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, and Skeletor. Both physical guys, imposing guys, action guys. I think that would be fantastic. You could fill in the other Tila and the Man of Arms and other people uh, up, at, fill them in afterwards. But those two guys, Chris Helmworth as He-Man, The Rock as Skeletor, Masters of the Universe 2020. With today's technology, CGI, oh, my goodness, please give that to me. I'm so excited. <sighs> Since the DCU has let me down some, those are these are the things I'm going to get excited about now, besides Star Wars and Marvel movies. These are the things that are really going to just blow my top as far as, oh, my goodness, I've been waiting to see this done right or see this done at all. Chris Hemsworth, The Rock, come on, guys, get on it. Somebody get this to some movie directors, please. My casting calls. And again, if you have a casting call that you think would be great for these, put in the comment section. I want to hear exactly what you guys think should play these uh, characters in the new remake movies, if they ever do them. Okay, so I mentioned I have five. Five, but I thought of one more last night, so five plus one, so really six. Six. So, six. The sixth movie that I think they should remake 
Now, this one, may you guys may not have heard of this one, and I love this movie. I think it can be done very well just watching movies like The Jungle Book. And, of course, you get, you're seeing uh, additional movies uh, done uh, in this fashion, like uh, I think The Lion King can be done in this fashion with the new technology. We need this movie done. 1982, people. 1982, this movie came out, and it was called The Beastmaster. Yeah, Mark Singer was the main actor in that. If you haven't seen The Beastmaster, great science fiction fantasy movie. Go rent it. Go watch on Netflix. Go YouTube it. Watch The Beastmaster. Basically, it's about a guy who was – magic was involved. He was the heir to the king, to a king and the evil sorcerer or I guess the uh, sorcerer of the court or whatever of the kingdom um, wanted to be king. And he basically – had his witches uh, take the baby magically out of the mother while she was uh, kind of um, not she was pregnant, but transport it into the womb of a cow or a bull or something. And then they cut the baby out of the bull and they was going to sacrifice the baby. And instead the baby was saved by some shepherd or something who killed the witch or whatever. And because the baby was born out of an animal, he had telepathic powers. He can communicate with animals. Now I know it doesn't sound as sound doesn't sound as great as I'm telling it, but it's a great movie and a great premise. And he could talk to animals. He was the beastmaster. He can he had a pet black panther or a pet pet um, tiger, I believe it was. He could had a pet um, eagle. He had two um, um, weasels or um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, we not, not called weasels, but two um, weasel like mongoose companions but he could talk to animals and he had friends and he was on his destiny to find his way back to the kingdom and kill the evil wizard who killed his mom and his parents but you got to go see this but the technology back then wasn't there today with today's technology they can make this movie over again and it would be fantastic the beast master you got to go see it and who could play that uh i would love to see jason momoa play it Jason Momoa, you can even have Chris Evans, Captain America himself, play this role. I would love to see one of those two become the Beastmaster. Again, if you're not familiar with it, go check it out. Great movie from 1982. Fantastic. But it would be fan great to see this redone in 2020. It would be. So, again, those are my top five plus one, which is six, movies that I think could be should be remade for 2020 done over again and will be huge hits but not just what i think what do you think tell me what do you think what movies maybe i didn't mention that you think should be redone for 2020 and beyond uh who are those actors comment on the actors if you like my selection tell me who if you think uh, there's a better actor that could play the part than, than what i mentioned let me know in the comment section below i'm anxious to hear your thoughts thank you once again for watching react and reactions i'm lr reactor i'll see you next time